Okie dokie. In this video, we are taking a look at working with pagination in Graph CMS. This code is available on the Graph CMS examples repo over on GitHub. I'm going to download this manually with npx digit. I'll paste that command into my terminal and wait for it to download. CD into the project directory and open up VS Code. Before we take a look at the project, however, I'm going to install the dependencies with Yarn. And while they're installing, we'll take a quick tour of this simple Next.js project we have here. So we have a Graph CMS client defined here in our lib library. This is pointing to the e-commerce example projects on Graph CMS. In our source directory, we have a products page and an index page. Let's take a look at the index first. We're using the, the GQL tag from GraphQL request here, importing our Graph CMS client. We're defining our limit as one. Then we have our index page, which is mapping over products and rendering out a pre tag for each product. In our get state props function here, we're defining our index page query. We're using the generator function here to increment our offset and limit. And we're defining a paginated query here. And we are assigning that to props as products here. Let's hop it over to the products page here. Again, we're defining the limit to one. We have a products page. We're taking the props here. We'll take a look at those. We've got guest egg paths. We're defining a query for the products connection and the aggregate count. And we're waiting on our Graph CMS client for that. We have another generator function here for the page and offset. And that's returning our paths. In get static props here, we've got our paths coming in from here. We're setting up a product page query, taking in the limit and offset. We're using the products connection for products and page info. And we're awaiting the Graph CMS client here. And we're returning the current page number, products, and spreading in the page info. We go back to our product page. We're doing a conditional render for has previous page, has next page. And this will render out a next link to point to the current page number. OK, let's take a look at this in action. Just run yarn dev and go over to localhost 3000. And here we have our initial render. If we go to, we go to product one, then we have our link for the next page and the next page. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.